shallow fry, some of it I'll deep fry with mushrooms. Ooh, and I wonder how well it goes with slime condensate. Paimon thinks she's forgotten about us. Uh, sorry. I got all excited thinking about new recipes. As promised, a tasty snack. Go on, try it. And tell me what you think. Are we your food testers now? Oh, gosh. This is delicious. Can you tell us how to make it? <laughs> sure. The only thing is I haven't written down the recipe yet. Hmm. I got it. I'll make another one now so you can watch. I'm sure you'll pick it up straight away. This seems pretty hard to make. It'll take more than that to learn how to make it. And we don't have a frying pan or any condiments. Come on, it's simple. We can fry on a slab of stone and cook using some boar fat. Build a stove from rocks. Use dry grass for kindling, twigs for firewood. Sweet flowers will do for sugar. As for salt, I found a load of rock salt in a cave the other day. There's still plenty left. <laughs> I just can't help myself when there's a chance to try something new. But I can't exactly bring my whole kitchen with me every time I leave the house, either. Give me a second while I get everything ready. Hey! What do you think? This is the boar's natural habitat. You can't hunt them here. You'll send them all running. We hunters know better than to kill the chicken to get at the egg. Oh, I get it. The freshest, best quality meat comes from free-range boars that grow up in the environment nature intended for them. If they all ran off, it would be a major blow to gastronomy. N no, to all mankind. I'm sorry. I got excited and didn't think of the impact we'd have. <sighs> you should apologize to Draff. As our leader, he always stresses the importance of respecting the rules of the hunt. I'm afraid he is very upset right now. I made a mistake, and I should go and apologize. <laughs> Thanks, guys! I'll cook up some more tasty snacks for you once this is over. Okay, don't worry. Paimon will remember even if you forget. Draft ought to be in Springvale. Let's go! Must be Xiang Ling. Sorry, Mr. Traff. This was all my fault. I heard the whole story. And now that you're here in person. Ooh, he's gonna let her have it. Please help me promote my meat. Huh? Sorry if I was a little brash. Let me explain. Springvale has built its reputation on top quality meat products, but this reputation is so far limited to Mondstadt. When I heard that the great maestro Xiang Ling herself was in Mondstadt, I asked Alan to send you over. Maestro? Haven't you heard? She's the one behind Wanmin Restaurant, that one-of-a-kind folk restaurant in Liwei Harbor. Her unique take on cooking ingredients is behind some of the best loved dishes in all of Liyue. They are very highly rated by travelers, too. <laughs> You're too kind. I just try to cook things that are cheap and cheerful. With a top-notch chef cooking top-notch cuisine with top-notch meat from Springvale, our reputation would spread far and wide. Hmm, I don't know. I only ever 
think about how to make tasty dishes. I never limit myself to specific ingredients, and I don't know the first thing about promoting anything. You use boar meat all the time anyway, surely. I can't see what the issue is. The issue is... What would you think if I added a bit of slime condensate? That's... Uh, I mean, couldn't you add something a bit more normal? There's no such thing as normal ingredients to me. You can turn anything into a delicacy if you cook it in the right way. I will not stand for having my creativity shackled by what ingredients I can and can't use. Food cooked like that is destined to be boring, period. <sighs> well, since you feel so strongly about it, forget it. But it really is a pity. You know, we did come to apologize. Couldn't you be a little more flexible? It's one thing to apologize, but it's another thing entirely to change the way I approach cooking. Mmm, what's that smell? It's gorgeous! 